This is an installation guide for large diameter stepped couplings from Viking Johnson. This video is designed to guide you through the installation of the couplings, but should not be used as a replacement for the printed instructions. Please follow health and safety guidelines. Hand protection, eye protection, a hard hat and safety boots should be worn at all times as well as any other site-specific safety considerations that apply to your installation, which should include a risk assessment. You will need a tape measure, rag and file, a water quality approved lubricant, a deep socket and a torque wrench. Check you have end rings and an expanded sleeve and in the Hessian bag, gaskets, bolts, nuts, washers and fitting instructions. Then lay out componentry and tools onto a clean and dry surface in preparation to fit. Be sure to observe manual handling regulations whilst carrying out the installation. This is an example of a typical lifting mechanism. Before you begin the installation, check the pipe is suitable for fitting. Examine the pipe ends and ensure they are round and not distorted in shape. Also check that the pipes are smooth and free from dents, scratches and score marks. Use a file or rag to remove any imperfections. Check the pipe OD measurement. Check the gasket is suitable for the desired use. Various gaskets are available for different installations. Please check with Viking Johnson for further advice if you're not certain. On the label, check that the working pressure is suitable for your specific application. To aid installation, mark both pipe ends at a distance equal to or greater than half the overall assembled width of the coupling. You're now ready to begin assembling the coupling. Start by placing one end ring, both large and small, over their respective pipe end, ensuring that the gasket chamber faces the joint between the two pipes. Then lubricate the gasket. The lubricant should cover the surfaces of the gasket that are in contact with the sleeve and pipe. Then. Stretch one gasket onto the end of the fixed pipe, with the thick end toward the end ring. Repeat this process for the free pipe. On the smaller pipe, place the central sleeve onto the pipe towards the gasket. In summary, be sure to use an approved lubricant to aid the fitting of the gasket. And remember that the thick end of the gasket should face towards the end ring. Check the correct gasket and end ring is fitted to the appropriate size pipe. It is important to make sure that the pipes are properly aligned before they are joined. Please follow the following steps carefully. Line up the center line that runs along the two pipes. The installer must make reference to the setting gap table to check the appropriate setting gap. The table can be found within the fitting instructions. The installer may have to move the free pipe to suit the setting gap. Use a tape measure at pipe ends to check the setting gap. Now you're ready to join the pipes. Using marks made earlier, slide the center sleeve until it is centrally positioned over the pipe ends. Check the distance from the two marked pipes are the same. Slide each gasket forward into the gasket chambers of the center sleeve. 
Then bring the end rings into position. Then line up the bolt holes. In summary, it is important to align the pipes correctly at this stage before joining them. Be sure to reference the setting gap table to check the appropriate setting gap. Once the pipes are aligned and joined correctly, you should now fit and tighten bolts to secure the coupling. Fit all the bolts from the same side, ensuring that the neck of the bolt is properly located in the end ring holes. Then fit the washers and nuts finger tight. Using a deep socket, tighten diametrically opposed nuts, moving to the nut on the opposite side of the coupling. Give the nuts one or two turns at a time to draw up the end rings evenly until tight. Use a torque wrench until the correct torque setting has been achieved on all nuts. The nuts must be thoroughly tightened to the values given in the bolt torque table, working around the coupling as many times as necessary. On larger sizes, tightening the bolts in a clockwise or anti-clockwise sequence, one or two turns at a time, would be an acceptable alternative. In summary, after loosely fitting all bolts, washers and nuts by hand, Tighten diametrically opposed nuts using a deep socket followed by a torque wrench. Tighten the nuts according to the bolt torque table. On completion, conduct visual checks to inspect the fitment. The radial gap between the pipe and coupling should be even all the way round. Rubber may be seen to extrude into the gap. Complete a pressure test and commission. Without adequate restraint, pipe pullout can occur. To avoid this situation arising, pipe restraints may be required. Typical pipe restraints include harnessing the pipe and concrete thrust blocks. When stepped couplings are used to join pipes of different outside diameters, it is essential to ensure that the stepped coupling does not move along the smaller diameter pipe due to the forces from internal pressure. This is particularly important for the above ground and or high pressure applications, where it is recommended the provision of adequate external restraint is provided to prevent movement. Viking Johnson pipe connections, repair and flow control products for the utilities industry.